Hey everyone, it's Jess from Cold SE. And if you've seen our videos before, you know this isn't the first time we're making custom coasters. Turns out plenty of our machines here can decorate coasters. So I have a few examples. I've got some UV printed coasters here. One made of cork and the other one is made of stone. Next, these cork coasters were decorated with heat transfer vinyl. And we have coasters we decorated with digital heat FX white toner transfers. One is made of marble and the other is a rock slate material. And the ones I will be showing you how to customize today are made of hardboard. Now let's talk about some of the reasons why I prefer to sublimate coasters. So as you can see, we have tons of coasters that are all decorated differently. Heat transfer vinyl is an affordable way to decorate coasters, but you miss out on being able to get a crisp digital print. Now with UV printed coasters, you're able to get that digital print, but it does cost more to get started. Next, we have our digital heat FX coasters, which look great and are easy to make, but your cost of consumables is higher than sublimation. Which brings us to our sublimated coasters. So let me show you how to make them. First, I printed out my photos on Beaver text print sublimation paper, size eight and a half by 11. Then I removed the protective film that comes on these Unisub hardboard coasters. So now that I have my printed transfers, I'm gonna take my coasters and I'll tape them down using the heat tape. And as you can see, I left a little bit of a bleed around the corners of the image so that it covers the whole coaster. All right. So we'll start taping these down here. The great thing about these is that I don't have to cut them out. And I can also place all of these in the heat press at once, which will save me some time. All right, so now I'm at my heat press. It's set for 400 degrees for 60 seconds. I'm gonna place a finishing sheet on my bottom platen to protect it from anything sublimating through. And then I'm gonna place my coasters right on top. And I flipped them over so that the transfer side is face up. Same thing with my second set here. So I'll place the finishing sheet right on top and then I'll just send them under. Next, I'm gonna rip the transfers off the coasters and you don't really have to worry about this rip part looking good, but they're pretty hot, so I recommend wearing heat resistant gloves when you're doing this. And in just a few simple steps, we have both sets of coasters finished. The images look beautiful and really high quality, which is a big reason why we love Unisub products. As you can see, we made coaster bundles that were easy and affordable to make. And the best part about it is that people don't just buy these for themselves, they also buy them as gifts for other people. So if you want to find any of the products we use in this video today, visit ColemanandCompany.com. Thanks for watching.